The crowd appreciating the, the efforts that they have seen here tonight again. Two of here. the best amateur fighters of the previous decade. Many herald Vasily Lomachenko is maybe the best amateur fighter ever. And right now, perhaps on the verge of equaling the mark of the fastest path to a championship out. And we heard frustration in the corner of Gary Russell from his father and a very opposite uh, tenor in the other corner for Vasily Lomachenko and his dad. Lomachenko getting on the inside, firing off the combination. And also credit though, he's still trying, man. Yes, he is. Outgunned, but he's still trying. He's still coming forward trying to make this fight here in the last round. And I'm sure he understands that he is likely so far behind in this fight that he would need something dramatic, knockdowns or a knockout to win. Jack Reese. Warning Russell to keep the, the shots above the belt line. It has been a, a clean fight. But now things may be falling apart mentally for Gary Russell Jr. Two new really low, low blows there. Oh, the frustration mm -hmm. probably kicking in too. Yeah. And also he just might be tired, he can't get the punches yeah. off. Good point. Lactic acid building up as Russell goes to the body, countered by Lomachenko, leaning in, and Russell firing off that left hand to the liver. Now Russell with a right, countered with an effective right hook by Lomachenko upstairs. And in his last fight against Salido, a fight in which he had, uh, had suffered in many yeah. rounds, Lomachenko uh, was able to close the show very strongly. So he's used to this as a pro already from his other fight. Lomachenko's manager quipped, the only thing they learned in the Salido fight was how to throw low blows. Yeah, exactly. And under a minute now left in the fight. And Lomachenko closing quickly in this oh, fight. Russell walked into a short shot there. And again, Russell leans in and gets tagged by Vasily Lomachenko. You know, we, we've praised, praised, praised Lomachenko a lot, and he's probably winning the fight, but you know, we can't go easy on Russell either. He's, he's got shown it. some real guts, some character, yeah. Hard. And, and displayed skill throughout. Just because Lomachenko might be a better fighter doesn't make Russell a, a, a bad fighter. No. Came in undefeated in 24 fights. Say what you will about his level of opponents. Was an amateur champion at 16, but now Lomachenko in the final 15 seconds. Unloading on Russell. Russell misses with the right hook. But they're both swinging. It's Lomachenko imposing his will and skill on Gary Russell Jr. Terrific performance for Lomachenko. They certainly believe that history has been equaled here tonight, Al Bernstein. It was a, a very consistent and excellent effort by Lomachenko. And at the end of the day, Gary Russell, who had not seen anything like this as a pro, and of course he's very disappointed now, assuming he may lose this fight. He just had not seen anything like Lomachenko, and the fighters he fought didn't prepare him. What was the biggest difference in the fight, Paulie? I know, I, I think a lot of that, what Al said, resonates, man. You know, R Russell had not seen this kind of quality in his professional career. Regardless of it being Lomachenko's third pro fight, he had seen a lot of Gary Russell's in the amateurs. And a look at the numbers. Uh, Russell busier, of course, but uh, landing at much less a percentage. And so many body punches adding to that power total that uh, Lomachenko has. And we'll go uh, inside the ropes to give you in microcosm what this fight was about. And what it was about was a varied attack from Lomachenko using combinations like this, straight left hands, and the straight left was an important weapon for him, but also there was the body work. He landed downstairs so effectively early in the fight, right hooks, you see the variety of what he's doing and throws in the uppercut as well. He was physically stronger than Gary Russell and was able to land better shots and more of them. Here's an interesting stat, Polly. Gary Russell Jr. never landed 10 or more punches in any round, well, I'll according tell you, to show stats. Well, I'll tell you this. In the last 24 fights for both of them, who's fought the better opposition? We, you know, we talk about Russell's record being 24-0, and he was the pro for a longer time, but 
Did he really fight better opposition than Lomachenko, considering Lomachenko's amateur record? Yep. And Orlando Salido being a wily veteran with over 50 fights, a champion in his own right, who lost the belt on the scales. And, and speaking of the stat we just mentioned, Al, let's take a look at the punches landed round by round, and, and there's the totals. Yeah, and this is, you know, the, the show stats, what it demonstrates here is how those rounds generally went and we can see that Lomachenko over the course of this fight in more rounds was able to do better work. All right, so the decision has been rendered. Let's now make it official. Let's go to the man himself, Jimmy Ledin Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a majority decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Lisa Jampa scores about 114 to 114, even a draw. Overruled by judges Max DeLuca and Pat Russell, they both scored about 116 to 112 in favor of the winner. And now the WBO featherweight champion of the world, Vasily Lomachenko. I don't know if I agree with the majority decision.